hey everyone how you all doing um so this is another energy update i'm back with so let's see what's happening in your connection what are the messages from the universe for you and if you feel like this reading is resonating with you please feel free to reach out for a personal consultation the link is provided in the description box below I also offer love spells, reconciliation spells and uh, different spells to remove blockages from your life, your career, finances and uh, there are actually a number of spells. So if you're interested in any of the spells, then please uh, do reach out and book for a personal consultation first, of course. All right. So let's see what's happening in your life right now. What are the energies like? What does the universe wants you to know? Wow. All right. Manifestations. So whatever you have been manifesting for yourself, it's finally becoming a reality. All right. This is the card of the magician. You know, you are the creator of your own destiny and the universe is actually making things happen for you. So I feel whatever you have been manifesting, be it a relationship, be it communication with someone specific, be it um, a long term commitment that you are manifesting with your person. I think um, now it's happening for you and you're not going to see this coming because I have the tower card here, right? So I feel this is like Virgo energy, Gemini energy, and then we have Scorpio energy. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with um, Gemini or a Virgo person here or these could be the signs that you have in your own chart strongly placed so yes i do see your manifestations are coming to fruition and it's gonna happen out of the blue and it's just round the corner i feel in a month you will see that all your efforts are coming to fruition um maybe journaling scripting 369 method spells for some of you you could be um you know doing some spells for something that you want or maybe manifesting a specific person and all this is becoming a reality soon yes wow amazing this is another card confirmation card that your dreams your hopes they're all coming to reality they're finally everything is going to fall into place for you this is the star card the most optimistic card of all the tarot right and you are kind of, you know, you're already sensing a change, a shift in the air for you in your life. And you feel very positive even in the morning when you wake up these days. You you could almost sense like, yes, there is a shift in the energy that's about to take place. And perhaps for some of you, you could be even having dreams. Um, you could be dreaming that, you know, the universe is about to bless you and your manifestations, your dreams are finally becoming a reality so you're very optimistic about this and very strongly manifesting something or someone in your life again this is aquarius energy and if you notice we have been having all major arcana cards so far so this is something that is being initiated and activated by the universe right because major arcanas pop up only when things are out of your control and you are you are kind of you know you're in control of the universe the universe is um, making things happen for you so I'm, I'm picking up some amazing positive energy here so far uh, all right so for some of you this could be a person that you're dealing with a specific person they have maybe a strong Pisces Cancer Scorpio in their chart a very intuitive person I mean they are also kind of opening up to your energies you know they can they can receive your energies maybe they're also dreaming about you whatever intuitively you have been trying to convey to this person they have been able to receive that actually you know so your manifestations are kind of working if it's concerning a specific person all right you can see how intuitive this person is their heart is opening up their heart chakra is opening up they want to feel your energies they they are thinking about you um they're lost in your thoughts they care for you you know i mean this is somebody who is um emotionally becoming you know uh vulnerable towards you right king of cups so for some of you i feel this could be a specific person that you have been manifesting and now the universe is making it happen you know your many manifestations are becoming a reality your uh, wishes 
they are reaching to this particular person that's why they can feel connected to you at an intuitive level we have five of swords so it's very challenging um i feel it's it's not like um first for some of you i feel you could be seeing 555 angel number these days and it means that change is just around the corner now 555 could be a good sign uh, like a change in a good way or you know maybe a difficult one so yes there are challenges to navigate and i feel uh, even your specific person even though they feel um, emotionally connected to you right now their heart is opening up but still there are a lot of challenges that they have to navigate so it's not easy it's not easy for your person because i feel somehow they are not used to feeling their emotions some somehow i feel this person is somebody who is uh, very much in their mind all the time they're practical uh, logical you know um, so it's it's kind of difficult for the specific person to actually feel your energies and intuitively open up open themselves up but but that's what the universe is you know making them realize that you have to open up you have to be emotionally available for this person so yes um so far so good although it's challenging for them but um, i mean it is what it is and uh, they just cannot ignore these emotions that are showing up yes they are missing you we have the six of cups this person is thinking about you even if they are quiet even if you guys are not talking to each other or talking less these days they do feel your energy they do feel connected with you and emotionally their heart is opening up they want to reconnect with you they they miss talking to you they miss your energy they miss your presence in their life if you guys have pictures together probably this person could be looking into their phone and you know just just scrolling through the pictures right so yes um this is also a past life connection you know somebody you shared a very strong past life connection with and this could also be for some of you an ex right but i don't think um it's an ex because you you wouldn't want to manifest an ex right unless some of you are manifesting an ex back in your life then that's i mean this could be resonating with you but for most of you i feel this is somebody you you feel a deep connection with right you feel a soulmate connection with six of cups is also a soulmate connection past life connection yes this person is definitely missing you badly and that's why you know because they're not used to it it's it's like giving them a tough time they're having difficult time challenging time navigating through this situation like all of a sudden i feel there have been changes in your um, connection because of your manifestations guys so always always manifest and you know you'll see amazing results manifestations always work although not in the shape or form that you want it to be sometimes it just kind of you know you have to go through some road uh, road blocks on the way but uh, eventually definitely manifestation works right so again a soulmate card so this is a confirmation right the lovers card it's it's a very strong indication that you are in a soulmate uh, connection and that's why you know you could be manifesting this person strongly in your life because you feel a very deep unconditional love for them i think i have to hold the card like this <laughs> yeah i've seen other tarot readers holding like this because i don't know some youtube guidelines or right uh, in regards to nudity so yes uh, i feel this is a very strong soulmate connection and um, and you know you are blessed by the angels you can see here the angel is blessing this connection you know and probably the manifestation and everything it's just um, you know it's it's like the universe wants you to do it i mean you're not doing it forcibly you're not kind of trying to um, you know force this connection in any way manifestation is okay i mean it's fine until unless your intentions are pure but you, this connection is so strong that it kind of made you manifest this person in your life and now it's all happening you know it's becoming a reality gemini energy so this person could be having a strong gemini uh, in their chart so yes uh, they are missing you you are feeling their pull um, they are feeling the pull towards you and there is passion also right there is passion this person is definitely feeling the strong attraction towards you physical attraction passion chemistry intensity soulmate connection i mean what else can anybody ask for in a connection but then of course the seven of wands challenges road blocks road bumps along the way there are definitely certain challenges um i feel that's the reason you know your person is just not 
trying to uh, move on uh, trying to you know uh, contact you or maybe um they have um, like a little bit of defensiveness this is the reason i feel they are just not ready to come forward and discuss this connection with you openly even though i feel your person knows somewhere deep down that yes you are their soulmate and you share a deep bond deep connection but at this point i feel your person is just not ready to um, come forward and see you are manifesting your person right you are manifesting your person but then they are trying to you know uh, push it away right they are not letting the manifestation come through because uh, somewhere there are challenges and roadblocks some some kind of barrier is there um, that's what's making this person push you away and right now they could be rejecting you they could be acting defensively they are standing their ground they're being assertive right yeah but any which way you guys do share a strong connection 10 of cups so yes it's a it's a confirmation that all of a sudden this person has had this insight that they do share a connection with you um and it could be like secretly they have these feelings for you i mean they have not yet maybe expressed the, these feelings or um you know they are scared if they open up then it might uh, lead to um you know something unexpected i mean they are not ready for this yet right so they are holding themselves back with the king of swords this person is holding themselves back it's very challenging for them to um you know talk about it because this is someone who is who is seldom talking about uh, their emotions this person is always in their mind they're they're someone who has always been focused on their career you know uh, thinking more about the practical side of life making practical decisions you know very focused individual uh, but also somebody who has amazing self control so this person is a little bit emotionally unavailable okay they are dreaming about you all right they know that um, you know they feel hopeful when they think of you but they are holding themselves back let's let's put it this way they are holding themselves back i won't say this is an emotionally unavailable individual because we already saw the king of cups before so you can say that this person even though they're opening up emotionally still they are holding themselves back so what could be the reason uh, for them to act this way why are they trying to push you away what are the challenges why is this person trying to suppress their feelings why are they not opening up to you yes see they want to communicate we have the eight of wands they want to communicate they want to have conversations with you never ending conversations and there has been like a lot of uh, shifts and changes recently uh, in this person's life like almost it's almost like the universe is sending them messages left right center and they just cannot ignore the signs they just cannot ignore these messages right so this is the reason like uh, they want to communicate and they want to actually come forward and clarify this with you that am i like delusion or am i really like these messages are are from the universe and do we share a thing so uh, but they're holding themselves back at the same time so what could be the reason what could be the reason that they're holding themselves back why are they suppressing their feelings why are they being so defensive and trying to push you away <sighs> okay for uh, some of you i feel that um I don't know are they like scared of you in some way or maybe they could be dealing with somebody who uh, who has a lot of anger issues or maybe they are just scared of your stubbornness because I feel this person feels kind of um little bit intimidated by you okay that's the word uh, coming in my mind intimidated yes they are definitely attracted towards you they find you very very powerful you know like you they just kind of respect and admire you but they're also intimidated by your energy so this is the reason um maybe i don't know there could be some differences between the two of you um maybe financially you're doing better than them this is the reason it's it's challenging for them to open up to you uh okay we need some more cards why is this person uh trying to push you away why are they being so defensive why are they not opening up and coming forward discussing this with you yeah because this is a practical person right again we have the ace of swords so even though um they do see this connection as uh, a soulmate one but they are very practical they're always in their head so this person um even though they know it's it's a very strong connection but then they're using their head so this is somebody you know who is who's who has always been like this maybe they have always been very practical in their life and they they put their 
you know in, uh, they put their mind over their heart so that's why they are having difficulty opening up so what's going to happen next in your connection let's see moving forward what's going to happen next is this person ever going to open up and express wow they do want to take a leap of faith towards you i feel there could be new beginnings in your relationship soon with the fool card the timing is just around the corner right um you can see how this uh, in this card here the fool it wants to just go go forward even uh, when he's um standing at the edge of the cliff he just wants to take a jump leap of faith and he knows that the universe is going to take care of him right so that is the kind of trust and risk that this person wants to take towards you and even you want to uh you know go forward and take this risk so there's a lot of like open heart chakra right you see you this person has uh, opened their arms and they want to invite this love into their life so i feel like you both would want to take a leap of faith towards each other and timing is unexpected because they know it's 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 a very strong pull they feel towards you right so i feel um next is going to be new beginnings in this relationship i'm sure this person just cannot hold themselves back anymore i mean how long can they hold this back how long can they keep these emo emotions hidden inside them how long can they be in denial or how long can they push you away right so uh, i mean eventually they will have to talk about it right so yes five of wands so okay here i'm picking up multiple um energies first of all i feel this could be this person's past maybe they've had a very difficult past um an ex a relationship that didn't go well right and this is why they're having inner conflicts and you know triggers when it comes to opening up to you about this connection right and for others of you i feel this could be a third party drama right right now your person could be in a third like this third party could be anything they if it could be their finances it could be their family it could be a third person in your relationship that's creating a lot of drama and this is the reason um they are pushing you away this is the reason they are standing their ground uh, because they are scared that because of the third party situation they won't be able to take this relationship forward right so um what is going to happen next eventually what's going to happen definitely there is like um, you both want to take a leap of faith towards each other but then this person stops midway because of the third party and yes yeah, six of wands so i do feel like there is a forward movement that's going to happen eventually let's say six weeks from now and this person would uh, make an effort and they would come towards you and uh, you know there would be mutual um give and take in this relationship you both uh, are kind of supporting each other and you know giving each other so much attention attention and admiration admiration i wanted to say attention you know okay so i feel like you both would be kind of willing to give each other that uh, kind of support and uh, of course i mean um, since it's a soulmate connection there's a lot of happiness you know six of wands is a very positive card to get in a reading and this person we have the king of wands right again you could be dealing with a fire energy a sagittarius leo this person would make sure that they are taking action towards you they would make it very clear that you know they're interested in you there's a physical pull towards you i i'm picking up the energy that this if this person um lives near you or you know in 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 the same state city i feel this person would want to be physically more close to you all right they would just kind of you know stay around you and try to feel your energy because there there is a strong physical attraction and also we saw the queen of wands earlier so this is a soulmate connection two people on the same page very much attracted to each other crazily in love with each other and also very action oriented right so this person is going to take action towards you they're going to come forward and um you know they would want your attention they would want your love they would uh, they would be willing to support you in every which way all right so let's conclude this reading with an ending message what is the advice and guidance message for you from the universe now that we have a story here we know what's going to happen um you know so i want an advice and guidance for you i feel we we have got the eight of swords coming out right so i feel um, there's a lot of negativity or you might be thinking too negatively about this situation you feel like uh, things are never going to change even though i can see your manifestations are working out for you but still you are living in this zone of negativity fearful thinking limited thoughts and beliefs and you you feel stuck 
you know definitely you're not able to move on from this person for sure because it's a soulmate connection it's difficult to move on from a soulmate until unless um you have a certain uh, you know timeline with each other fixed by the universe until that timeline is over and crossed uh, this connection you know you can never move on from a soulmate that's a fact but uh, but you also feel like this person will never uh make a move towards you but that's not true you know you need to take those glasses uh you sorry she's not even wearing a glass uh you need to take that blindfold off and you need to you know think more positively maybe see things from a different angle different perspective right and also the same goes for your person i feel even they are kind of in a negative zone where um they feel stuck they feel helpless they want to talk to you they want to communicate they're opening up emotionally but something is holding them back and probably it's more like their own conditioning their own negativity uh, i mean eight of swords is a card where you can take action but you don't want to because you're stuck in your mind right this is like uh, eight of swords is a very very for me it's a low vibrational card i can't just even look at it but yes um i think uh, this is what the advice and guidance is for you from the universe that please uh, don't put that blindfold on just take that off and see things from a healthy perspective from a positive uh, you know outlook you need to have towards this connection because it's 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 sent by the universe this person is sent in your life uh, for a purpose um and it's a beautiful beautiful connection with the five of pentacles again um if this person is not yet ready to open up i think you need to give them some time because again i feel we all have different conditioning we all have different experiences in our life and this person might not be so good at giving and receiving love maybe they've they their childhood wasn't that great and they they have been maybe deprived of love in the past or maybe they've always you know felt cheated betrayed left out in the cold in past relationships so this person has a little bit difficulty accepting true love they they feel unworthy of having true love in their life and this could be the reason you know they try to push you away so give them some time and i feel like you also need to come out of this lack mindset and mentality and try to see things in a positive light because i feel a lot of changes is um changes are happening in your life your manifestations are coming to fruition this person is opening up to you emotionally spiritually and they will take action towards you for sure all right um six next six weeks is the timeline you people keep asking me uh, what's the timeline so next six weeks is the timeline for it all right so let me just quickly pull out uh, 22 minutes okay i think it's it's a very long video now let me quickly pull out some oracle messages so that this reading becomes more clear what are the oracle messages for you all right let's see yes oh my god bang on change your focus can you believe it i just said that i love my cards <laughs> they're always supporting me all right so change your focus right even the cards even the universe wants you to change your focus and think positive stay positive always always vibrate at a frequency where other people get attracted towards you naturally okay so yes change your focus that's the message from the universe and that's the reading uh, i have for you today please let me know in the comments below if this reading resonates with you or not if it does you can put an affirmation um in the common box this person will take action towards me they will open up emotionally and express how they truly feel for me because this is a true soulmate connection all right so that's it guys i'll see you uh, in my next video till then take care and have a great day